Okay, here we go. I'm sure I'm going to want to redo this. But anyway, I'm going to go try and go over this quickly so it's not such a long video. I started one, it's just so incredibly long. Anyway, um, what I bring to you tomorrow is some things for your kitten. Uh, I have a little baggie with some things. I have a laser light that you can get that comes with them. A little bell type toy. A crunchy ball. They love that crunchy thing. And then there's a uh, little rabbit fur ball for them as well. So that comes in your little bag. Um, also, I'm giving, I give you uh, some little lure toys also to get you started. And I have these. I have a limited supply of these, but I think I have enough to let everybody have a choice at this point at least. Um, they are little pocket animals. They have a little Velcro spot in the bottom right in here and you can open this up and you can put some catnip in there and close it and they love it. It's got the bells on it and they think they're just wonderful. So if you want one of these, let me know what color you'd like. And I have some dishes. You may have already gotten one, but I, I usually let people just pick. But since we're doing this so differently, I'm going to tell you what they are right now. I basically have a green. Then there's one that's like a chartreuse, the yellow. This is pinkish red, and then this is a, a blue. In person, it looks a lot more blue than it does on the video, but it's like a blue-purple, almost a periwinkle, whatever. But anyway, you can have a choice of that. Um, I've got so much stuff on the table here. I also have catnip toys. I have to hide them because otherwise the kitties will take them and steal them from me. But I, what I do is I go get um, kids' baby socks. Uh, or even just t toddler socks. and Because even if it's got a big long thing hanging on it, they like it and they drag it around like they've gotten an animal. But I go, I get uh, containers of um, organic catnip and then I fill the socks with that, put a little zip tie on it, and uh, that makes a really nice toy for them. They absolutely love them. They steal them constantly, so it's back in the fridge here. <laughs> or they'll be gone. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh. Um, they'll have a little blanket in their carrier, uh, but there's also a pad in there. Uh, now one thing I did suggest that for people is <laughs> that you get some tidy cat, multi-cat formula. Oh, I didn't tell you about the, do the cat food yet. Um, let me do that first. You also get cat food. Everybody's concerned about they didn't, if they didn't get a chance to order yet. Um, I give you quite a bit. This is a, this is two, um, if you know the large yogurt containers, this is two large, low, large yogurt containers of cat food. So this is quite a bit for you. And um, Life's Abundance is very good about getting the orders out. It's been a little different with this pandemic thing, but the only thing that happened there is they actually stopped taking some custom, new customers for a little bit because they don't keep a whole lot of stock. They make everything very fresh. They don't want stuff that's been sitting on the shelves for long periods of time. So um, they actually limited the number of new customers for a while until they caught up to the to the rush because people were starting to hoard it. They were worried about lose, not getting the food that they needed, breeders especially. But um, anyway, uh, this food is excellent. I, I really love it a lot. And people, will, when they go to the, you can go on my website and where it says feeding, you can go to a point and you can click right on it and, and order from there. But um, I really recommend using this food because if you think about the lifespan of what, you're probably too young to most of you to know, but the lifespan of animals used to be a lot longer and we didn't have so much cancer and kidney issues and things like that. And they attribute it to the food. If you do some research online, you'll find that out, that um, most of the, pro most of the cat cats and dog food are, that are on the, uh, in the stores has a, life, a shelf life of four years. So the, product, the items that are in it have to be filled with lots of preservatives and things of that sort. And they do believe that that's probably what's causing the cancer with animals. This company ships directly to you and they don't make large quantities at a time because they want it to be fresh and they don't want to have lots of preservatives in it. And they use only U.S. materials. They never had a recall. And if they did, they would let you know because they have your batch number from when you ordered it. I um, started this when I, back about, I think 2009 or something, I know it was later than that, but um, what happened was I was taking out eight cat litter bins of dirty litter at the time, and when I switched to this, it went immediately to four to five cat litter bins, which was crazy. I mean, it, and if you think about it, they're eating less of it, and they have less output because the food is actually good, so they use it. But in any case, it's excellent. If you want to talk more about it, you can call me, but um, I, I think it's fantastic, especially because my mentor would only feed raw, 
And when she left me a little sample of this one time, I called her later and I just said, Maria, are you feeding this? And she said, well, I still feed raw, but I'm feeding this also. So for Maria, who never fed any processed food whatsoever, was doing this, I thought, okay, that's, that's for me. Um, anyway, uh, also I had said about getting fancy feast, and now I've got to do this again. I'm not going to pause. Um, this is the fancy feast that I was suggesting that you get. Uh, it's the poultry and beef um, pate, classic pate. And the reason I suggest getting that, and then you have the um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar that I had on that email that I sent. Um, because what I do is I mix up a bowl and I put a cap full, this would be for more than one little kitten, so you'd, you'd have to reduce this way down, but um, I put a cap full of, of, this would be the proportions and you can cut it back, a cap full of uh, vinegar, a quarter cup of water, and then I put in about a quarter to a third of a can of, cat, of the pate, and again, that's for a large batch. Um, mix that all up so it's an, like an ugly broth, then I put a, about, it's about a, I think it's a half a cup, heavy half cup of the dry food. Mix it all up, let it sit, and uh, for about 45 minutes, half an hour to 45 minutes, and then when you go mix it up, it's like a bowl of wet cat food. And that gives you an opportunity to get that vinegar into them. I have, um, uh, my vet, one time I told him that I had a male cat that was completely blocked. He could not urinate because he was completely blocked. I ended up giving him a syringe of half water, half vinegar, and uh, did it every two hours, and by the third dose he was peeing again. So I told my vet about it, and he said, oh, okay, and it wasn't till quite a few months later I was there seeing him for some just kitten checkups or something, and uh, he said, by the way, that really works with the vinegar. I said, yeah, I know, and he said, no, I mean, it really works. I said, yeah, I know, that's why I told you about it. In any case, it really is very healthy. People should be taking it every day as well. Vinegar is amazing. That's another thing. Research online, you will believe everything that vinegar does. And it's, this is organic Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. So it, it's not filtered or anything like that. Um, and that I only use this fancy feast. The only purpose I use this for is not because it's nutritionally high value. I just use it. No, 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 no. Don't chew on that. Um, it's uh, not nutritionally high value necessarily, but what it's I use it as a medium to get the vinegar into them. Um, the main thing is to get that uh, life's abundance into them because that's where the nutrition is. But also when you're doing that, you're also adding water, which is a great thing because you want to keep their... Stop chewing on my cord. <laughs> um, you want to make sure they stay hydrated well. Obviously you want to know that they're drinking water and uh, that sort of thing. Now. As far as what I had told you about, like I told you about the cat litter, and then um, I had said about getting one of these uh, uh, dust pans that does not have a rubber edge, which is tough to find because most of them now have rubber edges. But this has been a lifesaver for me because before, um, I'm sorry, but I've got a kitten that's chewing on the cord. <laughs> um, when I before when I would uh, clean the litter box, I you clean it out, but it still smelled because you take uh, your litter scoop. I don't have one on me right now, but assume that this is the litter scoop. You have clumping cat litter in here, and now you're going to clean out the clumped litter, and you're taking a rake and going through it, which breaks up the clump. So now you've got wet litter that is scattered out through this dr nice, clean, dry, non-stinky litter. And that's when I thought about using this, because what I do is I'll tip the box what, uh, preferably not a round box. I do not like round boxes for that reason, but I'll tip the box and there'll be a clump that might be stuck right here. And I very carefully take it out with this and get rid of that into the bag or the container that I'm using and do that. Then I'll tip it the other way, clean that side, and I'll even do side to side. So I get, if there's any cut right in the middle here. Now all this litter in here is just clean white. And then there's the little poop set. Then I go get the litter scoop and use that to get the to get the uh, poops out. And now, if you do that, if you're really like neurotic, and I'm talking neurotic, like when I tip the box and I clean it out, if any of the wet litter gets into the pile of dry litter that's over here, I will actually use the little broom and brush the, any dark litter off because it's if it's dark, it's going to smell. So I want when I add litter, I want the new litter to be the same color as what's in my box. 
And if I do that, when you do that, you do not smell it. I had uh, 22 cat litter bins uh, boxes uh, in my house when I had the, a large house with an open plan, and you couldn't smell the cat litter bo boxes. Then it was 22 of them. So it does work. It does make a difference. If you think about it, it's not really the poop that smells because it smells temporarily, but as soon as it's dry, it doesn't smell. It's the urine soaked litter that would make the litter box smell. So if you're really crazy and use one of these, it works great. If you don't, if you weren't able to find one of these, I have these, but I, I really limited on them. I, t they're hard to find. I had to pay like four bucks for each one of these. So, and I only, I was able to only find a limited number of them. So hopefully you could find it yourself, but that's a really great thing to have. Also, I have the crates. Um, I have pink <laughs> for those who love pink. I only have one blue one left. And then I have the regular tan and brown. So you can let me know if you want a special color or if you want just the regular tan and brown. Um, this will be your carrier. It's nice because also it has a little thing on the top here. Um, this little slit right here, that's so that when you put your cat in the car, you put the seat belt over it and let it slide into this and it holds it so now the cat can't go forward if the if you have to slam the brakes on. So it works for as a little seat belt holder, which is really nice. Um, I think, oh, the other thing was I have people that ask me about leashes and collars and what combs and that sort of thing. Um, I use a flea comb for Siberians because they don't lose their guard hairs, the long hairs, they only lose the down that's in them. Um, let me see if I can grab this little girl. Come here. Yep. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. <laughs> grab this little girl here. Because um, if you do this, you know, when you're petting them, most of it's going to come out. I can't get anything out of her right now. That's one thing that's nice about Siberians. Once they're, um, once they molt, there's nothing much that comes out on them anymore. But when they molt, I mean, sometimes you could build another cat with what they molt. But this is what they lose. It's just a down. It's just very, very light, airy stuff. You can actually roll it like you could loom it. It's that kind of odd stuff. But that's why these work really well. Um, these are also sometimes hard to find, and they're not that cheap. These are about 4 or $5 a piece. I have another one that's really small. Hey, guys. Guys, stop. <laughs> and, oh. Yeah. Whoops. Great. Did, okay, I'm hoping that's... I don't know which way I had this now. Oh, man. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um...